you doing? My leg. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Because I, I'm on Oxycontin right now. Oh my. Ooh. Feeling a little loopy. Hey, don't look there. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so let's talk about what happened to my leg. Oh my. Okay. There are so many people commenting, thinking that I have a prosthetic leg, that it's a fake leg. And um, I'm here to tell you guys today that it is not a fake leg. Um, here's the real story about what happened to my knee. So probably about six months ago now. Would you say it's about six months, Aaron? Yeah, in July. So I was playing in a trampoline, this place called Sky Zone, or it was a Jump Zone, something, yeah, something like that. Yeah, like that. Um, I, was, I was going there to play with my little cousins, um, and I signed a piece of paper. They told me, go right in. Didn't warn me about, this is a death trap. So I'm jumping around, jumping around. Um, I see a basketball hoop. I jump from one trampoline to another, to another, and I'm going forward really fast. And I lose control, and I'm basically flying forward towards a, uh, a basketball hoop. And either I crash into the basketball hoop, or I stick my leg out and, and try and bounce off the wall. Well, I tried to bounce off the wall, landed on my leg straight-legged, and it went... <laughs> And it's been really, really annoying because, one, it's the most pain I've ever felt. Um, for anyone who's had an ACL, MCL, meniscus injury or any kind of knee injury, you know that these are really, really a big pain in the butt. The, le the lesson here is if you're going to go to Jump Zone or Sky Zone and you're, like, over the age of 25... Over the age of, like, 15. <laughs> you need to be careful they don't warn you about the dangers of, of jumping on those trampolines. They're, they're very, very dangerous. One wrong jump, one wrong step, and, you know, it could have been my neck. Yeah. And that would have been much worse. Yeah. Um, but this has really put a stop to basically a lot of things and has ca caused me to slow down a lot. And I'm, I'm really thankful that I have Erin to help take care of me basically 24-7. She's, uh, she's been a really, really good caretaker for me uh, the past six months. <laughs> and I know this, this past week has been really hard because neither of us have been getting any sleep. Um, but comment below. Have you guys had a, a knee injury before? And what are some things that you guys did to help cope with it and help recover it? Um, you guys want to see what it looks like under here? It's oh. all up in wraps right now. That's pretty scary. Is this is this suitable for all viewers? Ah, yeah, it's fine. It's just a little bruised and swollen. <sighs> oh, you want to reveal the? I want to reveal everything. Oh my gosh! Wow. Except my balls and stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. You okay? Are you sure you want to do this? You can't bend it. Don't bend. Oh my gosh. Are you sure? Oh my. Uh. Oh. Ah. Yeah. That's it. So there's a hole here. I have torn my ACL, my MCL, and my meniscus. And there's a hole here with stitches, a hole here with stitches. Hole in the side of my leg with stitches, and there's a cut down my leg. Oh, that's so gross. I'm sorry, honey. Look at that fishing line. Look. Stop. There's fishing line. It's not fishing line. Are you kidding me? This is five pound mono. So in the meantime, um, someone sent you some packages to the PO box. Yes. So you get to open some gifts. Hopefully that makes the pain make go away a little bit. A little better. Let's do it, yeah? Yeah, someone sent us stuff in the... How many packages did we get? Just two today, but it'll be fun. Yes! Let's do it. Let's open up some mystery packages. All right, someone has sent me a package in our P.O. box, which we haven't checked in forever. <laughs> but it's been it's Jeremy who sent us a package. Master Cast. And uh, I have not opened it yet, so I'm going to open it up on camera. We were just sitting here playing our new game, Cuphead. Ooh, Cuphead. Yeah, Cuphead. All right. What is it? <gasps> it's a beetle. Oh it's a topwater beetle lure. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I like it. I think we were talking about this. Oh, there's a letter in here too. Oh. <laughs> this 
It's not opening. Wow. Okay. Okay. If you are reading this, it either means you stole this package because there was awesome lure in it. Two, you work for the best post office and you are discarding this letter because I suck at addressing things correctly. <laughs> Three, I did everything right and you, Senko Skipper, are reading this. <laughs> Dear Senko Skipper crew, Aaron and Brendan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as you know from my first post in the Senko Skipper Facebook community page, my local Kmart is going out of business. I got tons of lures for dirt cheap. I know you are doing reviews of funny lures, so I picked up this funny Molex Beetle Topwater Lure. I know by the time you get this Topwater Frog style bait season is over, but I hope you can catch some awesome fish on it next season. Hopefully we will meet sometime next year too. I'll have a driver's license by fall, so maybe I can meet you in Rehoboth if you go next fall. Jeremy. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, if, congratulations on getting your driver's license. I hope you get that. Um, I will definitely use this next season. That's this is awesome. a really funny lure. That's really cool. That's cute. Bright, I wonder how this day. swims. All right, ready? Yeah. Package number two in the P.O. box. It's a big box with Chinese it's words on it. From Chen Bo Huai. From Guangdong, China. Okay. Let's see what they have sent us. Any guesses? I think I know what it is. <laughs> what? Ramen? Ramen noodles? I think. One ton noodles? Shrimp fried rice. Mom thinks it's shrimp fried rice. Yeah. Mom's on it if it's shrimp fried rice. Dead it's all hers. Fish. Uh, fermented fish. Dead fish. Maybe fermented fish. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, whoa. What the? It's a boat. Is it a boat? It's a boat. Whoa. Huh? It's an inflatable boat. What? Inflatable? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Let Wait, me you see. can sit on it? Whoa, what is the that? Clip on light. Oh, God. What the heck is this for real? Like. Wow. Oh my god, mom! Okay, okay. Just I'm just kidding, you can help. Trying to help. There we go. Thanks, mom. I think that was for comedic effect. That's an interesting thing. Okay, this is okay. a big boat. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I thought you mean like a boat right, you can sit what on. What is this, though? Okay, okay. You, you better keep all the parts. Because you're gonna build a boat. It's like... It looks like I'm building a boat. <laughs> oh no, I'm using a boat. That big can thing there. I don't know. I don't. It looks like know. Fish I just don't know. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my goodness. Kira really wants Does it. that really flip? Oh my god. I bet you those. Hmm. That is an interesting. Like, it looks like someone lunchbox sitting on a boat. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, really? Wait. It's. I guess you put chum in there, control? maybe? Wait, how do you open it? How do you do that? Okay. Can you it's a remote control. Please? No, because it's all in Chinese. I. Uh, it's a remote control. Oh, sorry, my leg. Exhausted, huh? What is this for? <laughs> wow. Why do they look half used? <laughs> what? All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this thing has a lot of uh, extra parts that what I are these? don't tell me what it is in the instruction. Like, yeah. what is this? <laughs> yeah, like, what is this? We're looking at the instructions, and it's just like remote control instructions. Turn the V-type rod, plug it in. Oh my. Okay, enough. What would you guys use this for? How would you use this? Maybe like dropping off a lure somewhere really far out. I'm thinking you put chum in there, you put a hook in there, you swim it out, and then there's a button on the remote that you push 
that it just oh that dumps it. Okay, all right, that's cool. And then you swim it back. I don't know. Either way, I think I like it. I appreciate it. Thank you for sending this to me all the way from China. Tina. Tina. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Thank you guys for sending um, some some stuff for the PO box. I really, really, it really makes me feel better, and it's a nice surprise to see it. Um, if you, if anyone else wants to send us stuff in the PO box, we haven't really talked about it much, but uh, we have a PO box, and anytime anyone will send, anytime anyone sends us um, some some stuff, we will make sure that it does not go unnoticed. We will open them all on live, just like this, or we'll put it in a video and open it up. Yeah. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. And if you guys see anything that you think would be a great addition to the show, you're not only sharing it with me, but you're sharing it with the entire community that watches this show. Mm -hmm. So send us some cool stuff that you think we could make a cool episode out of, something that you want to see in the future, and... Um, will really appreciate it and I'm sure the community will too. I'm sure it will make Brendan feel better. <clears throat> so thank you to Jeremy, Mastercasters, and Tina for sending us this stuff. It was really cool. Thank you guys for watching as well. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Um, we're going to be releasing an episode from Florida. So oh, look yes. out for that. Yes. We'll be on the beach. So if you guys don't don't get confused because these episodes that we're releasing are not chronological. We um we filmed a lot of stuff in Florida a couple weeks ago and it's going to be out of order. So if you see that my leg is fine next week's episode, I'm not fine. I'm yeah. still in this. I'm going to be in this for 6 weeks. But we wanted to keep you guys entertained, so. Yep. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. See you next week.